I'm Jamie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Taskmaster Series 14's contestant announcement. I am very, very excited for Series 14. Spoiler alert, I think the cast looks amazing. I'm very, very excited. So yeah, this video is just going to be a little chatty. I'm not going to go as in-depth as I did for like my previous contestant videos that I have done. Just my initial thoughts about them um, and yeah, what I, I'm looking forward to. So yeah, let's just get straight into the video. So the series 14 cast is Dara O'Brien, Fern Brady, John Kearns, Munya, Chihuahua, and Sarah Millican. So yeah, I think it's just a fantastic cast. I knew, I know four out of five contestants, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, normally they throw like, yeah, some people that I don't know in. And obviously John Kearns is the only one I don't know, but from the sounds of what people have been saying, I think he's gonna be very fun. So first of all, Dara O'Brien, I love him. I th yeah, I think he's a fantastic comedian. I think yeah, he's definitely yeah, he's very cool. So obviously he's been on like Mock the Week, QI, all like uh, Catster's Countdown. He's been on loads of different comedy shows that I all love, and yeah, I think he's going to be amazing on Taskmaster. Yeah, I feel like he could kind of go either way. To me, he's kind of got the potential of like Victoria Corin Mitchell, where he could because he's obviously really smart. A lot of his comedy is like he's you know got a scientific background. He's done a lot of scientific shows and stuff like that. So he could be very smart, be very logical, trying to kind of like find a way around the task, kind of like Richard Osman did. Um, or he could be like Victoria Cora Mitchell, who's a very 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 smart person, but like it just didn't translate fully onto the show. Um, yeah, and she didn't do very well. So yeah, I feel like he could go either way, but regardless, I'm very excited for him. I think he is, I think he's got very good like rapport with like a lot of comedians. He's worked with Greg quite a lot of times, I believe. Um, so yeah, I feel like he, you know, he, he would have a good relationship with everybody, bring a very, very good studio environment. To me, he's kind of like popularity that we had with like Alan Davis. Um, people like that so I feel like he's yeah he's very established comedian like kind of like Lee Mack so I feel like everybody he'll get on with everybody he'll be fun and I feel, feel like he is the type of person to not steal the spotlight because obviously he hosts Mock the Week and I feel like obviously yeah we get a lot of comedy from him but he also allows everybody else to shine as well so I feel like he yeah he'd be great he also a lot of times on Mock the Week is like kind of like the punching bag for a lot of jokes so I feel like he he can take it from Greg and yeah I feel like he yeah I think he's gonna be so good I can also imagine him going on rants when like maybe something doesn't work out for him so yeah I oh god I'm so excited again he I feel like he could also bring some like scientific things to the um task as well because like yeah I feel like he just has like a very very good knowledge of everything and he hosts that show like Robot Wars I haven't seen it but my hope is that he will build a robot at some point which would be cool <laughs> but yeah I, I think he is a fantastic choice I feel like he is just a very very good all-rounder as well yeah I'm very excited for him <laughs> uh, next up was Fern Brady and she's somebody that I haven't seen a lot of but I've seen her a lot on Twitter and I think I've seen some of her stand-up clips on YouTube but yeah, she seems like a very fun person. I think her main speciality is stand-up and that is the type of comedy I would say I watch the least. I do like it, but I tend to go towards the like comedy game show, panel show kind of things. Um, which she has been on, she's been on 8 out of 10 cats. And the thing that I do know her from uh, is she hosts, I haven't watched many episodes of it, but I've watched a good handful, is she hosts a BBC Sounds podcast called um, Wheel of Misfortune. And it is absolutely hilarious. They tell like embarrassing stories, things that have happened to them. They bring on like a guest and so, yeah, they spin a wheel and whatever it lands on is the topic for the next podcast. So it might be like breakups or um, like first jobs. And they tell like her and her guest, like her co-host, each tell an embarrassing story. They bring on a comedian who also tells an embarrassing story and they also take calls from like the, their audience. It's very fun. She is very... Um, Fen Brady is very, I don't know, like energetic, charismatic. Um, I could, yeah, she's very, very chatty and I could kind of listen to her talk about anything. She's just very engaging. So I'm very excited to see what she brings along. Again, she's not somebody I know the, the most, but I feel like everything I have seen it in, I've really enjoyed her in. So yeah, I'm very excited to see her shine in Taskmaster. Next contestant is John Kearns. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I haven't... Yeah, I, he was the only contestant that I haven't heard of. But as I said, I've seen a lot of people talk about him and they have said that they really enjoy him. And I look, kind of looked him up a bit. 
and he apparently has collaborated a lot with Tim Key and I really love Tim Key's like humour and like comedy style so if he's anything like Tim Key I'm sure I will love him. So yeah his main comedy style seems to be stand-up and he was the first person to win best newcomer and best show in consecutive years which is the first person to ever do that so he's obviously a very very funny guy people have said he is quite in like a bit like insane um with his comedy style which I am very much looking forward to I love it when somebody is a bit of a wild card which I think he is going to be and yeah I'm very very looking forward to him I love being introduced to new people so yeah I'm very excited to see what he brings he, I like it when like, I love it when I know contestants that go into Taskmaster, but I also love it when I don't know them because, yeah, they are wild cards. I have kind of, like, no expectations for them, so I know they're going to do insane stuff and, like, blow my mind and make me love them. So, yeah, I'm very, very excited to what he to see what he will bring. So next up is Munya Chihuahua, and he is a comedian uh, presenter as well, um, and he specialises in, like, parodies and satire the thing that I first saw him in was when he released that Shaggy It's It Wasn't Me like parody video of the whole Matt Hancock affair situation that happened in the UK. And I I saw it on Twitter, it was amazing. And the fact that he released it so quickly and he's done this for a lot of other things, but that was the one thing that I saw him from. And he also was on, I seen him on an episode of Unforgivable, uh, which was very funny on that. And I have seen, I have only watched a couple of episodes. Um, I can't even remember the name of the show now. Uh, Complaints Welcome with Jessica Nappett and, and Tom Allen. I thought he was great on that as well. So I'm very much looking forward to him. He seems like a very, very fun person. Again, very like, charismatic, very energetic, I think. And if he can pull off doing that very kind of elaborate parody video, like the day after that news came out, then I imagine he's going to be very, very quick thinking with Taskmaster. Um, he's obviously got um, like good songwriting skills, <laughs> I guess, in a way, but he's good with words and he is, he's got quite a good like singing voice, rapping voice as well. So I feel like in kind of those kind of tasks, he will excel. And yeah, I'm very much looking forward to him. I, he isn't somebody that like, would have crossed my mind to be on the show, just because I don't know him as well as I do a lot of other comedians, but I think he is going to be an excellent choice. Like, the, the clip, every single thing I've seen of him, I have been laughing and I found him really funny. So yeah, I'm very excited to see what he will bring. I think, yeah, he is somebody, a comedian that seems to have really like blown up recently, um, like due to the kind of parody videos he did with the whole, like all the COVID things that happened <laughs> like last year and the year before. So yeah, I feel like he is, I feel I've seen a lot of things being like, oh, the government works fast, but Munya works faster because of the way he can, like create these like such a like I said very elaborate parody and satire videos very quickly and yeah I think yeah a lot of his jokes yeah I just think he's gonna be so good I love it like when we see people who have started out on like YouTube and like you know releasing just funny funny silly videos on YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that kind of like Gus Khan did and getting their fame from that like obviously it's a lot slower process but you know that they've become famous and well known because of like just their talent because they've grown from this small thing and like built it up and over time and yeah I'm very excited to see what he will bring to the show because I feel like he is going to bring a lot of fun and talent to it so yeah I'm very very looking forward to that and last but certainly not le least is Sarah Millican and I know I definitely put her in my video about contestants I want to appear on the show and yeah I think she is just fabulous I think yeah she's so funny and I just, I don't know what to expect from her, even though I think she's such a, like, I've watched a lot of the things she's been on. So like, I love her on 8 out of 10 Casters Countdown. I think she was amazing on that. She has been on Would I Lie To You lots of times. So yeah, I, she's, she's just such a household name. And I feel like as well, especially with Dara O'Brien as well, like they could bring in a lot of other fans as well. Cause there are, Sarah Millican has tons of fans. Like her tour dates are always like, incredibly busy and she, she's on tour all the time she's a very very well-known comedian so I think with those two we definitely bring in a lot of new fans which I think is always good I love it when Taskmaster gets more fans. Sarah Rinnigan to me is such like a funny silly wacky person like she will obviously bring in kind of a bit more kind of like social kind of not commentary, but like jokes about that as well. And also some like kind of maybe not like not safe for work kind of things, which might be quite funny. I just think she is just hilarious and 
I just can't see how I won't enjoy her on the show. <laughs> I think, yeah, she is just very, very funny. And I think she is an excellent choice for Taskmaster. I feel like all five of these contestants will get on well. I don't know why I think that, but I know I will. And I think with, um, obviously, people who watched the show already, if they went to, like, the, if they were the audience there, obviously they can't say much. But what they have said is that it is amazing and that it's very, very funny for the bits that they have seen. And they said it was very hard to keep like these contestants a secret because of how like amazing they are. And that, yeah, I feel like I think it's going to be a really, really good series. And yeah, I'm very much looking forward to it. I think as well, like following on such like for me, series 13 was, is one of the best series that we've had. I think it, it was very, very good from start to finish. I loved every contestant so much, but I feel like it's going to be like as good as that just from like the contestants that we've seen. I feel like series 13, as I said, I have done a video about it was one of the, is the best series that channel four has done. So I feel like they oh, there could be so much good greatness in this series. I'm so excited. It's going to be amazing. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a like and comment down below your thoughts on the series 14 contestants. Are you as excited as I am? I bet you are. It's, oh, it's gonna be so good. And subscribe if you wanna see more videos to do with Taskmaster. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.